this. Uh, my wife co-starring, you know, Julius Klein III co-starring, uh, James Seaman, pivotal role as a Pentagon squirrel, you know, it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun, you know. Uh, here we are, right here, we are at 100% uploaded. Uh, YouTube just needs to process it, and then I'll be sending it along to the partnerships um, on the West Coast in Hollywood. Uh, here in um, um, Harper Woods, East Point, East Gross Point, uh, Michigan, Detroit area, where we've been filming Main Body, and uh, we have been filming throughout the country, we are proud to say. Give me one moment, and... Uh, damn it. Uh, yes. The Unknown Soldier. <sighs> Definitely been having a lot of fun getting this, um, getting this to air. It's um, just uh, been a dream come true, actually. Uh, I've been able to um, bring out a lot of my goodies, uh, my military, uh, military collection, to be able to fill. Um, the costuming, you know, bringing together the um, Afghani and the Syrian, um, the ISIS costuming, uh, you know, performing low-level stunts, uh, weapon work, uh, sword work. We did a halo jump in the in the uh, garage. Uh, it's a pretty large garage, and uh, we put an attic there, so we've had a lot of space to use to create a starry night night halo jump uh, that was a lot of fun to put together um, I mean seriously I was like uh, the the second time it was the first time that Julius Klein the third came out to um, help out on crew he did come out to play Hastings because I had written out this scene for him and he knocked it out of the park uh, we've seen in the trailer as well a few bits from that but man when I asked him if he could help me put together a halo jump in the garage, then uh, <laughs> he said, if you uh, think you can put that together, I'll be here, he said. So, well, he was here. And we have that video on YouTube on my uh, Julio Leo channel. Um, definitely uh, having a great time making this, uh, you know, building a bond with many filmmakers in Detroit. It's just so much fun. I uh, was really craving that. Uh, I've been spending the uh, last uh, six and a half years out here. And so the first year I was out here doing a day job. I'm not going to mention it here. Um, but, uh, you know, I just didn't have a community that I was com connected to. So when I met uh, Julius Klein III on an Eminem video, we've talked about that. I'll be putting that video up a little duo, duo speak along about uh, the Unknown Soldier and the making of it. Um, you know, it's a series now, so this is something that can keep going on forever and ever. And I really do believe that um, with your support out there, we can have some fun telling stories about the good guys killing the bad guys. Um, freeing people from captivity or, you know, anything that is, you know, troubling them or, you know, a refugee situation, uh, terrorism. Um, Taking out the bad guys, you know, it's just something that uh, is going to be a constant story to be told. And I'm hoping that I've been able to plug in to a way of telling that story uh, based on my knowledge of, uh, you know, serving in support of three different wars at the same time. Um, working with people supporting African um, efforts to... Um, keep Boko Haram and, you know, um, Islamic terrorism or ISIS spin-offs in Africa from spreading. But, you know, coming as a veteran, filmmaker, I think I've been able to get a lot of experience in my overseas trainings and um, deployments. 
uh, small short special missions really gave me uh, an upper hand on um, what all people need to do in the combat zones. Um, two, uh, uh, preserve human rights. Uh, two, attend medical ne medical needs. Uh, you know, uh, preventing shock and harm from people. And it's just a blurred line. It, it war is hell. I think that um, the horror we try to elude to in in the unknown soldier would definitely um, you know, take you there for a moment. The whole series doesn't stay in the Middle East. It travels back to the States. Um, thank you again. I'm going to keep chatting on about this. Uh, uh, I just really hope you log on to Vimeo and, and, and show your support for independent filmmaking. Um, for being able to um, take the initiative uh, with taking the camera, some people, and telling a story. Uh, the Unknown Soldier, you know, uh, uh, October 30th is when it will be coming out. Um, I really hope you'll be joining us. Uh, as a subscriber to the Unknown Soldier series uh, Vimeo channel, um, that's where you'll be able to catch all the episodes at a very affordable price. Um, we're premiering it midnight, October 30th, for right in time for Halloween. Why not? You know, I become the Unknown Soldier, starring, wrote it directed it, uh, editing it. I'm not asking too much from too many other people uh, to help me follow through with it. Uh, now, but the follow through does have a lot to do with you, the viewer, you, the connoisseur of cinema. We're bringing you, we've been, you know, lots of us filmmakers have been trying to bring you since the on invent of streaming our cinematic eye without the huge studio crutch of cash um, coffers to just toss anything at. Um, so please understand that, that this is independent filmmaking. It's independent filmmaking going series. Um, being able to make a business out of it, I mean, why, not, why not, right? You know, being an actor in the business for, oh, good Lord, how long now? I don't know, 20 plus, 25 plus years. I'm not going to count the high school years in the KMAC TV, uh, TV studio. I graduated in 91, so from 1988, 87 is when I was started to produce, direct uh, little war films, uh, commercials with all the other students, uh, train students how to use all the equipment. Uh, we might be jumping around everywhere here, but you know, this goes back a long ways and uh, raised money for scholarships. Back then, they had to market the videos of football highlight tape. Man, you know, they get a lot of money, you know, Friday Night Lights in Texas. So, I hope it follows its suit all these years later that I've graduated to you all supporting me in a television event. Even though it's video on the man, it's streaming, it's coming to your home screens. Like, you put it on your 50 or your 80. Your curved 80, you know, I'm sure it's just going to be a beautiful experience to be able to see some artistry. It is, it's, you know, I mean, what, what else could it be? If it's not mechanized um, construction of story, uh, like studios can do, it's all the machines are there and the people are running like machines to get it done. But with a situation like this, it's very hands-on, uh, my daughter, four and a half years old, bloody years old, running the camera, hitting the start button, you know, um, pushing, uh, pushing the camera along on the track to better the framing, slamming her little fingers away on the ivories of the uh, grand piano at her uncle's house while we were vacationing in Portland. I mean, we've taken it to it's a, everything's a brush stroke, um, and it's been a family affair. It's been, um, uh, you know, just a, a 
building of a crew in Detroit, uh, Hollywood, in between, I'm talking drone pilot from Brownsville, Texas, Stevie, Stephen Garcia on Facebook, uh, and he's in um, Arizona flying a drone around shooting footage that uh, I had seen on a post he put up and boy was I interested and so I got together with him we connected and he said hey man no worries and he uh, zipped me some uh, zapped me some uh, awesome desert footage that you see um, that translate to Afghan translates to Afghanistan so I'm bloody you know chipper about all of it um, I can't wait till you start you know discovering everything that the Unknown Soldier series brings um, for a quick bit of entertainment. Uh, once everything's up and all the episodes are up, people will be able to purchase and binge it all at once. Really excited about that. This is a business, you know? You know what I mean? Like, hey, it's about rock and roll right now. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, I'm gonna bust out the guitar. Western, you could say, a Midwest, like a, a Western, 